Hey guys, <clears throat> going back to another episode of Pokemon Y here. Um, and I know it's been some time since I've recorded one of these, and um, a lot's been happening in life, so um, um, so here I am on Route 5. I've done some trainer battles already, and I'd like to show another team member that I've added that I've added since my last so I'm just going to tilt the screen up there's Pikachu at his level at his levels Littler HM Guy Fennekin 15 Leaf at 10 and Balboa now you guys are probably wondering I didn't have him on my team last time well I'll tell you the story behind that and uh, my, I just shut my DS off like two seconds ago. So yeah, that's his stats, and he's got the ability Moxie. So, so what I did was is I, um, I went to my Pokemon White um, game, and I transferred over him because I couldn't get the scrap that I wanted to in game here. I experimented a couple of times. And I got him, so he's Moxie, and I have him where I want him. Now, on to some story. My goodness. <clears throat> now, my goodness. Pokemon hordes are incredibly, are certainly intense. Yeah. They just, they're just like a Gen Z made of Pokemon, aren't they? Oh, Tierno, can you ever think of some besides Pokemon dancing? Nope. Even during Pokemon battles, I'm checking out their moves. I'm checking out the moves. Then my feet just start moving too. I just can't help it, you know? Like sword sense, I love it. I guess that's why I can never win. Hmm? Oh, see, Meister, do you know any sweet moves? Yes, they do. Alright, guys, so my first battle with Tierno. And he's going to send out a. I think it's a crawfish. So I'm not going to battle with Pikachu because he's he has a whole lot of levels. And I'm just going to switch to Bulbasaur. Because I need Bulbasaur to get levels, and he'll do Vice Grip, which will do almost nothing. And, whoop. and he's going to do Swords Dance C. going to do Vice Grip. This is going to do a heck of a lot of damage. I'm going to get in the red, but I'm going to likely take him out and gain a couple levels. Beat there now. Good to see you see come out. Excuse me, I meant see my sir. Yeah, you just messed up my name there. It really does seem like Tierno can can only seem to think about about dancing moves. When a horde of Pokemon punk, he just stood watching them. Yeah, Travs. Coming up with the words best Pokemon is is my dream, after all. I was born to dance. I'll never ever stop. Not, not with the moves like this. Yeah, nice. Yeah. And he's gonna give us honey, which is which can attract hordes, guys. If you put it in certain grass, uh, I'm not gonna need it. Yeah, he's gonna say. Now the way to capture Pokemon guys in hordes is you gotta single out 
the one you want and then catch it. You can't catch it out of, you just can't send the Pokeball in a huge group. So let me turn back on. You go to key items, experience share. Here's a random encounter, guys. It's probably gonna be a gulpin. No, it's a mining. In this grass, you can find Puzzle, Minin, Gulpin, uh, Scraggy if you in, in hordes. Gulpin in hordes. And basically, Scraggy was the one I was going after, but he was too low level. And I just ended up getting one that was higher level. Battle. Nice. I haven't been able to sweep ball for days. I don't know why I'm up. I don't know if I'm up for a battle. Well, here we go, dude. Let's see. Rising Star Hammer. Now that explains it. And he goes, and he sends out a cadaver. I've got something for this. Send out Balboa. You'll see why I'm going to call him Balboa soon. Folks. Doesn't affect Balboa. Bank attack. Can use this, but I avoided the attack. Bank attack on. And here's my favorite part of actually having. Pikachu go to 15. Little do 16 and 10 for HM. Once to learn double slap. I do want you to learn that move just because I do want to use them as a last resort. Mm. Lear I don't need. Banking grew to level 16 evolution here, guys. And Leaf grew to level 11. You defeated Rising Star Hamish. Now we also defeated him, and we're going to see an evolution, guys. Here's our first evolution. So, Benekin goes from being a Benekin to going into a this lovely thing. Braxian Braxian. Or Braxian. Do you want to learn anything? No you don't. Alright, so we got our first of all team member guys. That's Braxian. Alright, so I'm gonna go up the hill here. Alright, these are most likely gonna be fighting type. He's going to roll my defense, which is going to be good because Pikachu already has bad defense already. And Bunnel B goes down. Skidil, which I'm going to switch out for breaks in.
super effective one hit KO for him, guys. For him. We go to 12. Let's go when he goes down. Another skater, guys. Let's see what he's gonna get. Yeah, one poke. Oh, do duo. You know, you know who's gonna watch this thing? Pika. Man, shark. It's gonna go down. Super effective. Not much effort. Lauren goes down and he gives us 384. Yeah, guys, so, um. It's been quite the last couple of weeks for me. Um. What's been happening with my life lately is um, I've been doing school and stuff and it's really been tough and plus on top of that my um, if you watch my vlogs uh, you'll know that my uh, certain family member passed away. My grandpa died just recently so um, so that was not a fun thing to do. Here's another rising star, Tyson. Badoof. Another gym for Pokemon. Can use defense curl, it's not gonna do much against the attacker that is special, which Pikachu is. Yeah, so um this is gonna do it for this Badoof. I'm going to send in Braxen, Braxen, who I'm going to rename the next town, hopefully. And there goes another rising star. All right, guys, I'm going to cut the recording for a couple of minutes. Oh, guys, I just cut it when a Holocaster was going. The Sandra Labs has developed the Holocaster to make the lives of trainers richer, full, and more convenient. Hopefully, you'll enjoy the fine service the device provides. So... So just so you guys didn't know what was going on, here's Camp Fear Town, guys, and um, 
Yeah, so here's Camp Fairtown in all of its uh, glory. Um, I'm going to... I just needed to get to Camp Fairtown, and I'm going to spend um, the last three minutes of the episode actually renaming one of my Pokemon, so I'm going to find the name writer, if I can. I wonder where he is. So... Yeah, so it's a nice, peaceful town, and... Uh, and if we go in here, if you go down here, guys, you'll find a star piece, which you can sell for high money. I'm gonna cut again, guys, so I can see, find the name Raider. I gotta see where he is. I'll be back in quite a minute. All right, guys, guys so sorry for the cut. Um, I'm going to find the name writer, and I've gotten a honest tip here from um, our friend, the Internet. And he's in here, I think. So I'm going to just say, I'm just going to do a quick heal session, guys, because this isn't... Um, Yep, thanks for waiting. Alright, so we're going to name a few of my pokes. Where are you? Here he is. If you ever see a guy with the jacket, oh, I'm the official name writer. Would you like me to write your Pokemon? Yes, I would. Braxton, I definitely want you to, to rate. Yeah, Braxton, is it? Sounds like a better, sounds like a good book. Would you like to change it? Nah, heck yes, I would. I'm actually going to look up um, my nickname I wanted for one of my guys. Yeah, so I've been thinking of this nickname for quite a long time. Um, no, I didn't ask for that. Yeah, so the nickname I'm going to give it is... You'll see it in a minute. So now on, your Pokemon should be known as Finx. So Finx will be... Uh, so so Fennekin will be known as Finx. And I'm going to ask him one more time to name somebody. And that will be Pikachu. Yep. He will be known as Here's Pikachu's nickname. He'll be known as Bolt Two Point Oh. So, guys. On the next episode, I will be exploring Camp Fear Town. Thank you, and have a nice day, guys. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you very much. Sorry for all the cuts, guys. Have a nice day.